Okay, so we are going to demo a couple of important spatial analysis functions in ArcMap today. First off, we are going to start with some spatial queries. Okay, so the way that we make spatial queries in ArcMap is through the selection menu. Okay, so again, in the in a spatial query, we are trying to retrieve a selection of data based on its spatial qualities. Okay, so let's explore that further. Uh, we are using our tutorial data here, where we have uh, we have our forests, we have nesting sites, we have roads and villages. So let's say we wanted to find out all of the nesting sites that were within a certain distance of the villages. So we might have some hypothesis about perhaps these nesting sites uh, are different in some way than uh, other nesting sites. Uh, we want to find those that are nearest to the village. Maybe they are more impacted than other uh, nesting sites because of their proximity to the villages. Okay, that's not a data set anybody has ever produced. It's not something we can just go and download. Okay, that is something that is we can find out through the complete data we already have, but we need to run some analysis in order to achieve it. So instead of selecting by attributes, as we would if we were querying a single layer's attribute, uh, we can attribute table, we can select by location. Okay, so we're selecting features using the location of features in another area. So we are selecting nesting sites using the location of villages. So we, we get this menu here. So we are going to select features from the nesting site layer. Our source layer is what we are using to as our kind of base so we're measuring from villages okay and then we have our spatial selection method so this is where we determine what kind of query exactly we are making again the target layer are the features that we are uh, trying to uh, filter and access and the source layer is um, where are we trying to uh, base our query off of? So in this case, we want to find the nesting sites that are within a distance of the villages. Okay, so we want to find the nesting sites within a certain distance of these villages. Okay, so by default, this is already checked. We have to apply search distance. Let's just say we want to find out the nesting sites within uh, 500 meters, half a kilometer, of these villages. We believe that might actually negatively affect these nesting sites. So let's find out where they are. Okay, and we find, in fact, that there aren't any within 500 meters. Uh, of uh, the villages in this area. Okay, it says zero features selected. So that's an important finding in and of itself, is that there are no nesting sites, particularly close to villages. It makes intuitive sense. So let's increase our threshold. In this case, we find that we do have some features selected. Okay, we can see some over here. They're hard to spot out, uh, but that's the color that we're using uh, to, for our selections. Okay, so from here we could then export our selection as a separate new layer. Okay, you've done that kind of work before, so that we would have a data set specifically telling us the nesting sites 
uh, within a kilometer of the villages in this area. We have produced that new data. Okay, let's explore some of these other spatial selection methods. So first, let's clear our selections. So we no longer need those nearby nesting sites. Instead, we want to do a containment or membership spatial query. So we want to find the nesting sites. In this case, we actually want to find the nesting sites within the forest. Okay, we want to find all those nesting sites uh, where the, the the animals, the birds have uh, taken up residence in the forest. Okay. So we are selecting from the nesting sites uh, in reference to the forest. And in this case, we are going to say are within that source layer feature within the forest. Okay, we don't need to apply search distance here because we are just looking for nesting sites within. We're not looking at any sort of distance measure. We just want to know, are they contained within the forest? Okay, and as perhaps expected, uh, 297 of our nesting sites have been selected. Okay, some aren't contained within the forest. Okay. But the vast majority are. And we now have a selection that shows us which ones are. And again, we could export this selection as a new layer, a new data set uh, that we can work on that tells us, that allows us to focus on only those nesting sites in the forest. Finally, we know that a third primary uh, spatial analysis, spatial query, is to is intersection. Okay, so we want to find, let's say, all of the roads that intersect a forest. So we want we're planning a trip. We want to find out, you know, which roads are going to uh, lead us through a forest. Okay. So in this case, we are going to select features from the roads layer. Our reference is the forest layer, and instead of asking, you know, are there are these roads within the forest, we are going to ask if they intersect the forest. Okay, we don't need to apply search distance because we're only looking at intersections and not any sort of measure of distance. So let's apply this, and perhaps as expected, all of our roads, or the, most of them, at some point, intersect a forest. Makes sense given how forested this area is. We have a couple down here where there's less forest, where the road segment does not actually intersect a forest. Again, we now have a selection that we can do further operations on. For instance, we can export it. So those are our three primary spatial queries. Again, we use the select, select by location tool in the selection menu. We select features from particular layers. We want to find nesting sites within a certain distance of, of, a vill of the villages. We choose this. We have a source layer or a reference layer. So we want to find those nesting sites close to a layer, uh, close to a village. We put the village there and then we have our actual selection method. within a distance in the example of nesting sites near villages.